it's Heather from Come Alive Creations and Project 828 and I have another process video for you today and we are in Matthew 5 16 today which says in the same way let your good deeds shine out for all to see so that everyone will praise your Heavenly Father so I also like the message translation of this which I put in its entirety over on my blog so please make sure you check that out I'll have the link to that blog post down below and then we are just going to go ahead and jump right into the page so like I mentioned before I have a blog post that goes with this page most of my videos that I'm going to be posting here on my YouTube channel will have a blog post that is correlating with that page as well so please be sure to go check that out leave me a comment give me some feedback on that I love to hear from you guys so for this page it's actually going to be a really super simple page I'm just using uh, some watercolors and I put some water down on my page first thinking it would help me spread it a little better but it actually just made it um, more watered down and uh, made the color lighter and so I wouldn't recommend doing that um, and then I just went around the edges of my page with the same color I like to just bring whatever I'm doing on the blank page I like to bring that over onto um, the text page as well and so that's what I did here and then I am going to take my heat tool and I'm going to dry this and so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through that part. So here I'm just getting out my Prismacolor hand lettering kit that has several different um, styles and sizes of pens in it. And then I'm just going to get a straight edge and I grabbed one of my pens out of that kit that has a really broad tip on it. And my goal here is to just make a box that is a really um, like bold border. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get a smaller tip pin. And I, I actually have a printable here that I did cut out and I was going to just use it on my page as a sticker, but I, I didn't want the white to be over top of the yellow. I wanted the yellow to shine through and this was on white sticker paper. So I chose to put this underneath the sheet and then I traced it it did not look as great as I wanted it to, but I think you can still tell that it's a light bulb and it serves the purpose. And so I'm just going to finish tracing this out here. And then I did go back over it a couple of times just to kind of broaden the lines up a little bit and make it a little bit darker. And then once I get this completely um, drawn, then I'm just going to go back in and do some hand lettering and you'll see that here in just a minute. So here I'm going to go ahead and add in my hand lettering and I'm just using another pen from that kit and I'm just going to let her be a light for all to see. And I did come back in here with that broad tip marker and used that to thicken up the downstrokes on the word light just to kind of make it stand out a little bit more.
So here I just used my Mega Date Stamp to stamp the date. And then I'm going to go ahead and outline my verse, which again was Matthew 5, 16. And then I felt like the right side of the page was just lacking something. And so I did decide to hand letter this verse around the edges of my page. And I really liked the way that that turned out. So I am just finishing up lettering this verse and then that is going to be it for my page. Please enjoy the close ups that I put at the end and please check out my blog and I am so thankful for each and every one of you that comes over here and watches my video and reads my blog. It means a lot to me. Thanks guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.